Hello and welcome to another TLDI US video. I'll see you in four years. These are the words uttered by President Trump at the White House Christmas party this week, alluding to the fact that he may run again in 2024 for the office he seems to have just lost. This has understandably overjoyed some and terrified others. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at what this might mean for the Republican Party and its 2024 primaries. Yes, already. We know the elections only just happened, but we have to start somewhere. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. That really helps us out. We also have a bunch of other channels which run through UK and EU news, as well as the TLDR Daily channel, featuring a few minute summaries of the day's events. Most days, including US news. Anyway, all of that's linked down below. The idea of Trump seeking office was first bandied around as early as 1980, when he was asked about it by a journalist. Four years later, in 1984, while he again didn't say he was running, he did have to rule himself out of contention. 1987 was the first time he made some serious musings. In September of that year, he wrote a letter in the New York Times, Washington Post and Boston Globe that discussed basically how the world was laughing at America and other countries were using the US for their own gain. It cost him close to $100,000 to release, so you would think he had some kind of ambitions at that point already. Well, there was a motive, but it was probably mainly not political. The art of the deal was coming out just two months later, so this was probably a bit of a marketing tool for that. Trump did actually address presidential speculation following this, saying that he was not going to run, but of course that if he did, he thought he'd win. And there was a fair bit of support for him to go for it. Another thing that was seen as political, but was, according to Trump for advertising, was a late October speech in New Hampshire. This speech followed a similar tone to his letter, being called by Michael Cruz of Politico, nativist and isolationist, an angry, gloomy rant about America losing out in a dangerous world. So while he wasn't ever a serious candidate in the 80s, he clearly had some strong views already. And now we arrive in 2000. Here Trump kind of actually did run, although he was again releasing a book called The America We Deserve. He fought for the nomination of the Reform Party, which, if anyone doesn't know, was a party led by Ross Perot in 1992 and 1996, and had been quite a legitimate third option in terms of the popular vote. He campaigned for a bit and was quite popular, but eventually the future president withdrew after a few months. Interestingly, Oprah Winfrey was the top pick for his running mate. While 2000 was the most serious he'd been, in 2004 and 2008, there was also talk of a Trump campaign. And by 2012, Trump was peddling the Obama birther conspiracy and suggesting that he would challenge the incumbent president. And, well, we all know what Trump did in 2016, and this year too. And he seems to have aspirations of doing a Grover Cleveland. In other words, running again, having been booted out of office by the electorate as the 22nd and 24th president did in the late 19th century. In recent months, Trump has set up both an election defence fund, which people have donated to to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars, and a PAC called Save America. A large proportion of this election defence fund has been sent on to Save America, which can thus be used to facilitate a future campaign. So, pretty shady funneling of money from legal funds to PACs aside, Trump has clearly set a potential campaign in motion, but how does the Republican Party feel about this? Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag in terms of support for Trump 2024. It's pretty well agreed by this point that if he were to run, he would be the favourite for the nomination, and would probably win rather easily. As we know, the president has a very strong base, and as an indication of this, polling in New Hampshire in the last month has shown that two-thirds of Republicans in the state want a 2024 campaign from him, and there are many Trump enthusiasts within the Congressional Party too. Some of these, including Senator Josh Hawley and Senator Rick Scott, have already come out in support. Of course, there are some very loud anti-Trump Congress people, and surely there are others who have been and still are keeping their mouths firmly closed. However, regardless of how Republicans really feel, as things stand with him still in office, very few want to publicly go against him. This is due to Trump's power, which most expect will not fade quickly. 
For example, there are midterms in just a couple of years, and Trump's backing could be key for many up for election. The president's hinting at running again also puts those who may want to run in 2024 in a bit of a difficult position. There's certainly some looking to make moves, as we'll come on to shortly, but Trump's lack of clarity will make it impossible for many to start these moves as they would in a normal situation. In fact, a Republican advisor by the name of Alex Conant told Fox News that there's going to be a delay in any candidate visibly launching a campaign as they don't want to be seen as the first candidate to challenge Trump in 2024, with his vagueness just continuing to hamper the regular cycle of primary competition in the Republican Party. Another Republican insider disagreed though, suggesting that a serious candidate would not be put off by Trump at this stage as there's still a long way to go. It's not all gloom and doom for other candidates though. Contrary to the tone of this video so far, there are actually some musings of scepticism as to whether President Trump would actually walk the nomination if he ran. According to Axios, some people close to Trump have suggested that he might start a campaign but won't stick with it all the way because of the potential political, financial and legal issues. Per the same source, potential opponents are actually expecting Trump to lose influence gradually, which would then allow them to properly start a campaign. So what about those opponents we've alluded to? Interestingly enough, Trump ally and RNC Claire Rona McDaniel has bucked some expectations that she will be biased towards Trump, her appointer, by inviting several potential primary candidates to speak at a party event next month. The names most commonly bandied around seem to be current Vice President Pence, Nikki Haley, the ex-UN ambassador, Tom Cotton, Rick Scott and Marco Rubio, all from the Senate, as well as a bunch of others. It should be noted that who runs depends on whether Trump does himself. It will be fair to rule out supporters such as Pence, Cotton and Haley if the president ends up running again. If Trump didn't run, most, regardless of their level of support for him, unless they were big dissenters like Governor Larry Hogan, would likely seek to be the continuity candidate, presumably carrying on with Trump's popular policies with less of the brazen rhetoric. If Trump were to go again, according to the Ledger 360 poll on the Republican primaries, he would be the favourite, taking 25% of the votes from respondents, followed by Mitt Romney with 19%, Mike Pence with 14%, followed by Haley, Cruz, Kasich and Rubio with around 7 or 8%. Another poll actually has Trump at 54%, followed by Pence at 12 then Don Jr. at 8 and Cruz, Haley, Romney and Rubio all with less than five. As stated though, many of these wouldn't actually run if Trump did. According to Ledger poll, if Trump didn't run, Pence and Romney would be the favourites with 26% and 22% respectively, followed by Cruz and Haley in the low tens. If you don't think that polling is particularly reliable, then you probably won't be too keen on the odds either. But just to finish, Skybet has Trump leading the way with 10 to 3 odds followed by Haley with 6 to 1 and Pence with 9 to 1. So there we have it. We may be seeing President Trump run again in a few years time. Do you think it's likely? Do you think that he'd actually walk the nomination? What about if he didn't run? Who's your prediction in that case? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we post. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos like this one possible. And if you want to see your name at the end of videos, then you too can back us on Patreon. The link to that is in the description.